Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Upper Michigan today. We have a special edition live episode here at the Midwest Truck Driving School. Now, where's my co-host, Elizabeth Peterson? She actually happened to be caught in the... Uh, wrong place at the right time I suppose she was on her way I drove separate this morning because my videographer and I were already in Gladstone for our live shot for the TV 6 morning news at D&D Dog Dynamics she drove separately but there's actually been a fire in Delta County and Elizabeth just happened to be caught behind some emergency vehicles now with that fire no injuries have been reported I'm just going to read you that story that we have posted on our website UpperMichiganSource.com right now the intersection section of M35 and 30.5 Road in Perkins is closed due to a structure fire. Multiple fire departments are on scene and working to get that fire under control. There is there is concern about downed power lines near the home. Two people were in the home at the time of the fire, but they've been taken out safely. According to crews on scene, the highway could be closed in both directions for an extended period of time. So if you travel through the intersection of M35 and 30.5 Road in Perkins for your morning commute, keep that in mind because the, there's, there's no estimated time of when that will reopen. It's shut down indefinitely. Uh, the Delta County Sheriff's Office is asking the public to avoid the area and this story will be updated with more information as it becomes available. So if this is an area where you live, if this is an area that you commute through, stay up to date on UpperMichiganSource.com. Watch out for updates and we will be sure to uh, update this story once those roads are back open again. But anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program here at the Midwest Truck Driving School. I've got Director Josh Barron. You, why don't you come on over? Well, I'll, 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 we'll meet you in the yeah, middle no, over that, here. I really appreciate it. Hey, Thanks thank, for being here today. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Now, I, am I going to walk out of here a uh, commercial commercially gotcha. licensed driver or Absolutely. does it Absolutely. You're going to be a professional driver when we get done with you here today. Now, it's going to take over the next month, but we're going to do it. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I'm excited to kind of go through some of the ropes. Of course, the truck driving school, it's not just one day long. There there's so much that goes into it. But I'm excited to learn even just a wee bit about it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, 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 I mean, you said it best is there's so many little things that are involved in this industry and that's why it takes a month to go through everything. Um, but that's kind of the beauty of it is in a month you, uh, you could start for a lot of people, they can get into a new career and start something new. And you can see some of the students behind us. This mm -hmm. is our uh, class A course. And I'm one of the certified instructors here at the school. And they're working on some tests. They're working on some paperwork. We're getting into map reading and trip planning, uh, talking about um, how to how to read an atlas. You ever read an atlas before? Okay, I will tell you this, Josh, reading a map is one of my biggest weaknesses. Okay, all I'm right. Really so, terrible at it. so that's where that's where we can help. Because, mm -hmm. because the fact of the matter is, is Yes, we have our phones and we have our trucker GPSs, but but we have to know how to read an atlas because technology doesn't always work. And no, when not you, up here in the Upper <laughs> Peninsula. No, exactly. You go to Marquette, right? Mm -hmm. Coming down here, you couldn't use your your phone the whole time because mm -hmm. you would lose it several times on the way. Um, and so it's important to know. All right, yes, we want to we want to be able to utilize technology, but we can't rely 100% on that technology. And so that's important. So even like filling out a long book and mm -hmm. and um, how to read a map. How to read an atlas all that is so important to being a successful driver out on the road where are these students at in uh, in in their class when will they become certified will yeah. we see be seeing them out on the roads anytime uh, soon what's that well next week actually uh -huh. so so this is the first week and it's an intense course it's eight hours a day so they're here a lot of book work this week getting getting the foundation so getting their medical cards done um, getting their drug testing done uh, getting their commercial learners permit mm -hmm. um, all the different uh, what they call ELDT which is the entry-level driver training all the different required training that they need to go through both before they hop on the road and so that's what they're going through right now um, but the fact of the matter is how heavy is a semi truck how heavy uh, yeah you know I'm gonna put you on the okay. spot here I hope you don't mind you know? no of course yeah. not I we okay. see them all over the place right I'm, I'm a really <laughs> really bad at estimating so I'm just gonna take a wild guess two tons Two tons. Okay, so your vehicle is about two tons. Okay, All right. and I drive a little Toyota. <laughs> What's that? Okay, maybe less than two tons. Yeah. But, but so a semi truck for interstate commerce, 80,000 uh -huh. pounds. 
40 ton. And then Michigan is what they call a heavy haul state. Mm -hmm. It's one of the only heavy haul states that we can haul up to 164,000 pounds legally. And uh, those are going to be all like the big log trucks and trailers. Mm -hmm. You actually don't see really trucks like that anywhere else in the country. It's primarily right here in Michigan because Michigan's a heavy haul state. Pretty cool? Mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool stuff. And I mean, this is really heavy machinery that these students are operating so I'm sure there's a lot lots that goes into it in terms of safety oh learning God. not just the driving aspect but no. the other things that go along with it the book work yeah exactly that's huge and like you said the safety part of it is is so important you're not just get behind the wheel and oh let's drive this thing no I mean that's like the equivalent of putting 50 of your personal vehicles, 40, 50 of your personal vehicles on top of mm -hmm. each other and then putting you behind the wheel of that unit. Um, so you can imagine that, that that there's so much that goes on into that. And the stopping, mm -hmm. these have double the stopping distance as that of your personal vehicle. So having to drive defensively is an understatement. Um, and then you get into how wide and how tall and how long they are. Um, uh, any idea how long your typical say? See, I gotta put you on the spot again, you know? Okay, <laughs> how long it is. Long? I'm gonna say 24 feet 24 feet okay we're just a couple feet off 70 feet this is a couple <laughs> just a yeah. couple so 70 80 feet long and that's why when you see them make turns they have to make typically you need two and a mm -hmm. half lanes to make a turn so you need that other lane to make that turn you need to um, be able to have that additional space mm -hmm. because you have 53 feet of trailer that you're mm -hmm. they're pulling behind you and so uh, that safety is huge and um, when we hit the road that's us, us instructors job is to mm -hmm. make sure we're not running over any telephone poles or fire hydrants or anybody standing on the corner we got to make wide turns and we got to slow it down um, and just be more defensive on the road so mm -hmm. all that's part of the training we're only six seven minutes into the show and I've already learned a couple of tidbits of information <laughs> oh now I, we have to take a break but when we come back we're going to continue this conversation awesome. we're going to talk about what exactly the students go through when they attend the Midwest truck driving school all that good stuff so stick around we'll be right back